today's toy spot, we're going to be having a look at the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Baroness. Um, apparently it's from the attack on the G.I. Joe pit, so I'm not sure it's possible maybe she gets a different change of clothes throughout the movie. I don't know. I haven't watched the movie yet. Um, we have a nice picture of, is it Sienna Miller as Baroness? Um, I th I think she was an alright pick for Baroness. The only problem I seem to have seen so far with it, from what I've seen in the trailer, is it doesn't seem like she's got an accent. She just talks normal. Well, I, I don't mean normal, but you, you know what I mean. She doesn't have an accent. And uh, you think they... It's Baroness, for crying out loud. You think they could have get, gotten her to do an accent or maybe to get somebody else... Um, now, when I was, uh, you know, being the geek that I am, um, I used to actually think to myself, well, you know, if they made a G.I. Joe movie, who would I cast in the roles of the different characters? Um, I think if I hadn't given the choice to, uh, to cast G.I. Joe, I probably would have picked Famke Jansen to do Baroness. Um, I think she is a logical choice. Um, for anyone that's seen GoldenEye, the James Bond movie, where she was in that movie as a killer, she had an accent, and the accent was pretty close to that of Baroness. Um, plus, I think she looks a lot like the Baroness. I think Sienna Miller, they, it, it almost seems to me with this G.I. Joe movie that they've picked, like they've wanted to, you know, they want to do the, the uh, fluffy... Hollywood, cute, everybody's from the OC look, you know, everybody's young. I don't know, I think that's going to be what is going to be the downfall to this movie. If they had actually just picked the right actors, you know, I, I'm not even I'm not even a fan of the guy they picked for Destro. I don't, I don't know, I just, you know what, I almost would have had Lawrence Fishburne as Destro. You know, granted, Destro's a white guy, but... Lawrence Fishburne has the awesome voice, I think, for Destro. And if they had just put a mask on him or done something with Destro's mask, I don't know how they would have had the lips moving, but I think Lawrence Fishburne would have been... I would have picked him for Destro, Famke Jansen as Baroness. I almost would have picked Gary Oldman as Cobra Commander. Now, granted, everyone I'm picking are all older actors, but, uh, you know, needless, I'm getting way off topic here. So if we have a closer look at the packaging on Baroness... If we turn the packaging around, the other characters in the wave are Snake Eyes. We have Conrad Hauser. We have Baroness, Storm Shadow, uh, Destro, and Neil Viper. It's a bit read up here. As dangerous as she is beautiful, Baroness is a master spy for Cobra and a powerful high-ranking figure at Mars Industries. She carries out her plans with icy efficiency, but her cold, cruel personality hides a painful secret from her past. What is it? What is it? I don't know. We have to watch the movie. Um, but there we have the packaging. I've unfortunately used three minutes of this ten minute review just talking about the packaging and rambling, so hopefully we can spend a little less time talking about the figure. So uh, stick around guys, I'm going to open up the Baroness and we will get a closer look at the figure. And here we have Baroness. Before we actually look at the figure itself, we're going to look at the accessories that she comes with. She comes with a missile launcher, which fires as does every other weapon that comes in this line. Um, she comes with a Mars briefcase, which I think, I think, can open. Oh, and uh, she can actually hold. I, You know, I was wondering what these were. Um, I don't know if I actually commented on it in the Duke review, but I wondered what these were. I think they're actually, uh, I think they're nanite bombs or something. Yeah, because they seem to fit in there, and all the characters seem to have one. Yeah, and that's probably what they are, They're the, those nanite bombs or whatever they are. Um, she also comes with a display stand that says Baroness. Very nice. Um, she also comes with the same gun, oops, the same gun as uh, Duke did. So it's that laser sight pistol. Um, and last, last but not least, um, she comes with what looks to be a grappling hook. 
which I guess she can go up walls or she can now she comes with a stand which I'm thinking she would you put the figure on and you can actually lower her down via this grappling hook maybe she uses this in the movie it's possible but I have to wait and see and uh, looking at the figure itself I would actually say of all the figures that I picked up she probably is the nicest looking figure so much so that you can actually even see her eyes through the glasses here which I think is a nice touch the costume is very reminiscent of the old I was, I was gonna say G1 G.I. Joe but that wouldn't make no sense um, but the classic G.I. Joe cartoon the only difference is this would have been red or if if you're thinking of the mass device Baroness her glasses would have been a green and then her outfit I think was blue but either way though I mean the costume is pretty good um, her articulation she has eh, no does she have any in the head maybe the hair is hint hindering it I don't know doesn't look like her head turns she has articulation in the shoulders but again her hair seems to be getting in the way she has articulation in the elbows now she actually has a second pistol but they've put in they've put in the last the clear elastic on there so I'm not gonna I won't take it off just yet um, she has articulation in the torso she has articulation in the legs also in the knee and also in the foot um, speaking of the foot She's got these super high, high heels. I don't even know how a woman could even walk in those. I don't know what you women do sometimes. Um, but overall, the figure's not bad. I, as I pointed out, it's definitely one of the better figures of the lot. I would say between the Baroness and the Duke, these are probably the strongest characters, or strongest looking toys of the wave. Um, unfortunately, still the disappointing Snake Eyes, but... Definitely a nice figure. If you like the G.I. Joes, you like the three and a half inch 25th anniversary G.I. Joes, uh, you might want to pick these guys up. But the Baroness is definitely a, a definitely a nice addition. But there you have a toy spot on the uncertainly un. Geez, I just buggered that up. Um, I was going to say on the uh, uncertain if she was cast right. There you go. There you have a toy spot on the Baroness from the Revenge of Cobra. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.